that it's he's going to be able to tell you the story of this um, opportunity from a personal standpoint. He has been extremely successful in this industry, this particular project as well. And so he's coming from you, to you from all the way from the Netherlands. And no. he is just as uh, the person to explain this project to you this evening. So, a boomerang meeting. All you who are new to this Grace project, the judge. Pen, grab a Grace, paper, Grace. Or your notebook. So we've got David, the, the Hobbit. Notebook. So grab the way from the Netherlands. And take some notes. Thank you. We write will. down some write down some questions, okay? All right. So here is David. Thank you, Grace. Oh, Thank you. It is David. And hello, everybody. I'm David. I'm from the Netherlands. Mm, <clears throat> I'm um, yeah, 34 years in the industry, oh, and yeah. I love this project. And I can life. tell you, this is one of the best companies I have ever seen in my entire uh, career. This meeting is being uh, recorded. Everyone, this meeting moment, is being recorded. Uh, you are, you know, you you are very lucky to be here. Uh, morning. This, this is your first presentation. Morning, members of the public. Uh, what Grace is saying, yeah, make some notes because that's very important. We will start with a video. Uh, we'll be one minute something. Yeah, video. We love... Very good. And uh, after that, I will start with the PowerPoint and we will do some trades. We show you some trades also. The recording has stopped. Ooh. Really good. Thank you, everybody. Don't know why they stop it for. <sighs> okay, so they're just going to play a video, and it's just a stupid video. I don't know why they do it about boomerang, and I don't like it because it's got music in it. But there's a finger. But in the meantime, <sighs> oh, what have we got here? I'm Danny DeHeck, <laughs> aka the Crypto Ponzi Scheme Avenger. I'm here to name and shame anyone running this meeting is being recorded. This scheme or a scam. Today we have a meeting. David from the Netherlands doing a presentation about Boomerang. They are selling fake arbitrage trading. Myself and the Avengers have proven this to be a total fraud and not real. There's no such thing. Every single trade they do loses money. But what they do to make the, the user think it's real is they pay them money into their metamask wallet to think they're getting money for doing arbitrage trading it truly is sickening to watch we've watched two hundred thousand dollars a day being paid into this platform and it just continues right now everything's on hold because they're going to release they never release they were going to release on the first of march on the fifth of april and now everyone's been told to wait if you paid ten thousand dollars they will give you $50,000 worth of flash loan money to do some fake arbitrage trading. Out of your $10,000, if you were very, very lucky, you could get anything between five or $800 back of your own money. After that, they just keep stalling, keep stalling. Yesterday was one of the funniest days at all. Chavez come in and told them that while they were going through the code, they discovered another income stream. And that means that everything will now be reshuffled like a game of cards and they'll tell you to hurry up and wait again. So let's get into this, and let's watch David tell you a bunch of lies so that he can get the commission money available for when he sells it to his friends and family, because that's what it's all about. This is just multi-level marketing. Um, Bring some um, insights. And for me, in this industry, I can tell you, with We Are All Satoshi and Boomerang, we have really affiliate marketing 2.0 because with We Are All Satoshi, you have a secure opportunity. Why secure? Because everything is on the blockchain. Everything is transparent and you can see everything in real what is already built. The creator, the CEO, the founder is Chavez. And the it's all about securing liquidity public. and ensuring Great sustainability. Is, but they seem Chavez to is a young man from India living in Dubai, built already a lot of big projects. And, and so with Real Satoshi, he really did something amazing. Did he? It started in the 3rd of October when we were producing, uh, ex um, exploiting the product of the Boomerang 
same oh, sorry, the Bitcoin the code minus, by and they are mining for plus minus 140 years. Mining Bitcoin code BTCC, it has the same philosophy as the Bitcoin. It's not a Bitcoin, it's Bitcoin code. But the mining is an NFT miner. And when you purchase a package, when you purchase a GTX 1X for $50, you are already yeah, in case you're thinking this is real, this is a PDF document from the state of California saying that Kia or Satoshi is running a scam. And it says, cease and refrain order. Six pages. What a copy. Just let me know. In the meantime, yes, this is not real. This is not genuine. This is a legal you activity. You can buy a bigger to miner. Just because they're allowed to continue on Zoom, X, keep providing Whatever you want. Do so. do and you can buy multiple. Legal or ethical. And this is project... And large and this is crypto, this is a platform. what we have built is really good. And because of that success, we can introduce also the boomerang. And boomerang is a fascinating concept. concept. It combines the elements That's of arbitrage is. trading, artificial intelligence, and zero collateral flash loans. Let me explain from the beginning. Arbitrage. What is arbitrage? Arbitrage is invol in, it for, involves exploiting prices and price differences of the same assets in different markets and on different platforms. For an example, you can buy an asset that is lower priced on one exchange and higher on the other. And traders can buy the asset on the cheaper platform and sell it on the more expensive and profiting from the price difference. Arbitrage opportunities are often fleeting and they require a quick execution to capitalize on the price gap. So you need speed. You need speed to buy it and sell it. And that is what our smart contract is doing. It's not. So, but when you have the system and you have the market, what do you need? You need liquidity. You need to have cash. You know the saying, with money, you can make money. And this is covered by the DeFi flash loan. DeFi flash loans are a relative new form of uncollateralized loan. They are available for this, traders this on some decentralized financial broadcast. blockchain yeah. networks. So DeFi. Because so much this type of moment. So right now, the website boomerang.trade is actually not working. And they are claiming that they are about to launch what they call MPV or MVP. I always get mixed up. But a minimal viable product or something like that. But obviously, you can see that nothing is working and the website is actually um, gone. I think it's gone, but um, yeah, quite interesting. But yeah, we like to expose these people who are running these scams. And just um, just in the last, um, what am I going to say? In the last few hours, or the last couple of days, we've actually been uploading historical videos like this. So you can see one here of um, Keith Williams and Kalpish Patel um, promoting Hyperverse. And here you can see presentations like you're watching now that go back. Um, what am I trying to say? Oh, I'll get down to here. So here's a whole lot of old historical videos that you may be interested to see. So here's one of Keith Williams. Here's one of Sam Lee, um, Ryan Drew, and Alan Glow, who started up Blockchain Group. And this is where it was derived from. Stephen Reese Lewis, fake CEOs. More presentations with uh, Mick uh Kelpies Patel. So do check out some of these um, old uh, videos. Uh, here's a board meeting with 20 people in it, a hypertech group, and obviously here's Sam Lee. Now he started We Are All Satoshi and then just got pushed to the side by Chavez. So they're just puppets. Uh, and that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to warn new people in to say time. that this is just so much. See here, this is the UI, user interface. And they, all the people boomerang. that are promoting this. What you need to know in this actually, investors. and I will make so they use the people of in, public. Like you can David see Scott, here in this the example. This company, I think he's just. There were um, 94 trades done out. with the flash loan. And in the meantime, you can see the limit was 50,000. It has used Rodney 26,849 um, dollars, and because, the profit is 2,420 dollars. the flash loan still is left 23 million. Uh, sorry, 23,100 dollars. But people um, ask me to these uh, presentations that people like Cal Pish Patel did. Um, you would be amazed of the uh, the lies 
that these guys actually all right welcome ladies and gentlemen thank you they did and the, the stories that they they tell you to make you believe the authenticity of these opportunities but if you went back and listened to this one now um you would think this was absolutely an amazing opportunity but now it's all fallen over and everyone he's gone into hiding he doesn't exist it just goes on and on and on you go back anyway i won't disturb too much i've just seen this course, presentation a thousand times and if you're just to tune in so the you go here later, and you're, you're then you really want to sort of have a wee on the right side listen. you can see and i will highlight here. it for you you can see use it use the ce hundred dollars you always check the price in usd so some coins they can have a higher than one dollar this is a stable coin, so it's equal. But sometimes you have a coin what can be higher. So always check the USD price. <laughs> the other pair is wrapped Ethereum. And then you check <laughs> the percentage, how much profit you make. Mm. What you also do is on the left side, you can see so who's in how much group? profit you will make. 50 people, for goodness. $1.27, because it's 1.27%, and you do it with $100. So it's $1.27. When everything is okay, just today. you I'm click the on the button the training, guys. from confirm. When you click that button, the money, if the trade goes through, the $100 will be deducted from your limit left, and that's when the trade happens. We will show you later in the video how this works. I'm going to show you how to report. So how can you spot. purchase a boomerang license? Um, Zoom you can do that via the website of Real All Satoshi. <laughs> and the inviter you invited you, um, he can help you with this one. I do. So there are five different licenses. You have a license one. It costs $500. And it gives you 200x flash loan on MVP. And MVP is minimal viable product. When it is active... You can use the hundred and hundred thousand flash loan to do the right, trade. In the chat room, we have five you, licenses. So uh, five hundred gives you hundred thousand. A thousand yeah. will give you two hundred thousand. License three will give you three thousand. Uh, sorry, six hundred thousand. And license four and will other, give you speaking down for uh, so long. one million. Very very important. You can see license number five. Give it a go again. Ten thousand, and it will give you two million in flash loan. With two million, let's example, you make 1%, that's $20,000 what you can earn. And this is really, really amazing. So for people who say, hey, this is nice, you can purchase a boomerang. For people who say, right. hey, I like boomerang, and maybe it's I like know like some like people the, who the, like the, boomerang the, also, you can have a business. Because when you purchase a boomerang or a miner, you already have your own business in We Are All Satoshi. And you can also sell the product. So it's not that you can become a customer. You can also be a reseller. And we have the most amazing compensation plan and affiliate system in this business. And I can tell you by experience, we have in WAS a binary system. It's the most easy system. This is you. And you bring in one person on the left and one person on the right. Lord. If you do this, then you will become a premium subscriber. And a premium subscriber just earns from the leverage of anything. the team and the growth. So become a premium subscriber, bring in one person on the left and one person on the right, and teach others to do the same. It's duplicated. So what is the income? Introducer kickbacks, 5% from every package you sell. That can be 5% from $50 miner. That can be 5% of a $5,000 miner. That can be 5% of a boomerang from $500. It can be 5% from a boomerang from $10,000. 5% will be paid and from the third subscriber. So every time when a person is renewal their boomerang, when they do a repurchase or they buy another miner, the people that you bring in directly, you will always get 5% and it's paid out daily. Just why he's going on, this is the form um, which you pull out to report these meetings. Put your name, your email address, because they want to know whether you're reporting your report fraud. Are you a Zoom holder? I'll put yes, I put my email address, and then I put a basically you can just copy a link to just tell them that it is a multi level marketing opportunity because on section seven of their own terms and conditions. They tell you that you're not allowed to promote such a thing. And then you put um, your, your email address, and then they'll send you a code 
to verify that you're true and genuine. And look, oh, and you've got to put them within 30, 30 seconds. Two, seven, seven, six, three, nine, and then go submit. There you go. That's how you do Start it. also on the left. Let's find Back to these guys. You have one person on the right, and he or she starts with a thousand. And uh, they used to shut them down within the next 12 day, hours. When you're now they don't. You bring um, in your third person. Us, so it's that person starts at five hundred dollars, and you get five percent kickback. That's twenty-five dollars. So if you could, but also you have on your left leg two times five hundred dollars in turnover, and then your right leg you have a thousand dollars. So now you get to check no, by 10% is $100. Get rid of in total, you earn in this I example have $125. Always like, um, I don't know if I can, but. The check match is limited no, daily. It starts with $300 a day, but I've increasing your rank here, you can go to $1,500 in possible income. No, I'm actually amazed day. that people don't do so the due diligence. The affiliate potential earnings is 3 um, And what does that mean? And that's all your, your start is figuring out whether this is a scam or not. Oh my goodness, I just stuffed up, didn't I? Uh, Ford unable to join the meeting. I just not uh, error code. Oh my goodness, I just accidentally got out of the meeting. That's what happens when you use a pad. Oh my god, that's no good, Danny. One minute, please call it. Let's see if we can get back in here again with a bit of luck. Um, error code. Report to Zoom. No thanks. Um, right. I think I just destroyed the meeting just like that. Didn't take much. Um, right. Let's think about this, Danny. Uh, first things first. Um, yeah, I just accidentally killed that. I can't believe I did that. Oh, report. <laughs> I'm able to join the meeting. Ah! I just because I swiped on my my um I don't have a mouse um somehow I have managed to kill the whole meeting that's just exciting isn't it I'm just going to follow the link and see what I can do uh, hold it one minute please caller uh, join from a browser no absolutely killed it what an idiot oh, sorry guys. Ah, oh, damn, 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 damn. Uh, good morning. How you doing, mate? Uh, just killed the Zoom meeting. I don't know how I did that. Present, share. Uh, well, we might just change tack a little bit. Um, I don't know how I did that, but somehow I managed to kill the meeting. I might just switch into a VPN and see whether I can um, connect onto a different country and um, reconnect in full. Sydney. Now I'm connected on VPN and I'll try that again. Um, imagine that I just managed to show there. Here I am trying to connect again, connecting via a web browser, and it's not going to let me, is it? Back. I'll just try it from there. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I did that. Sorry, guys. Take church and report him within a day. Um, now, what you say, morning. Zoom takes action on reporting within a day, but now no action even in a week of reporting. Yeah, and that's exactly right, mate. That's exactly what I mean. So I'm just absolutely amazed. Uh, I really need to start ringing up Zoom. So I don't actually know who owns Zoom. Um, I mean, it could be a project that we could actually look at, which would be interesting to see. I'm just trying one more time to get back into this Zoom meeting, but I think I've actually killed my, my Zoom. And it does seem report to Zoom. I'm just going to do it for a laugh, but Danny at, but yeah, it's just the ongoing saga. And then AKA the crypto Ponzi. Uh, 
So what would you do? I mean, you sort of like, if you go to Zoom, um, Zoom, Zoom contact phone numbers. Everything points back. Sales. I mean, it would be kind of interesting to actually figure out. Uh, get gay KB. I was in the meeting KB, and then I accidentally um, uh, killed it. Customer service for Australia. Zoom phone numbers and email. What happens if you actually call these phone numbers? Do they? It would be called cool talk, to you, but they don't allow you to do that. So if we went. Um, how do you do that? Plus six four, is it? Plus, oh, here we go. Hold up, I'm just doing this on my phone. You'll hear me. Uh, hold up. Plus six one one eight zero zero seven nine. I'm saying all the numbers wrong. Dyslexia. Let's call it that. So let's check. I've got that number right. Uh, six seven eight all right so let's ring up australia and see what actually happens uh, thank you for calling zoom video communications powered by zoom contact center to purchase zoom products press one for technical support press two for billing press three to repeat this menu press star let's push two thank you for calling zoom support you can find answers to many questions or submit a ticket at support.zoom.us. This call may be recorded for quality and training oh, here purposes. here we go. Let's see if we can ring up Zoom. For account verification, please enter your 10-digit personal meeting ID or your 9 to 11-digit scheduled meeting ID, followed by the pound sign. I don't have one. Let's, let's try using the meeting ID for this room that we have that Grace is in at the moment. They'll say it's wrong. So we're just bringing up the standard 8475076 If this is correct, press 1 to re enter. Please enter your six-digit host key found in your Zoom profile at zoom.us slash profile, followed by the pound sign. Ugh. Let's see what happens if we get it wrong. Please enter your six-digit host key found in your Zoom profile at zoom.us slash profile, followed by the pound sign. I don't have that. Anyway, this is for Zoom. Message to look, look, uh, report a crime. I don't know. What do you do? I mean, Zoom don't care. So then I'm trying to find Zoom's phone number and do something about it. Privacy, legal, takedown, uh, reason, email. Danny De Heck. Uh, no, we'll do. We'll do. Um, we uh, also Toshi explain. So I mean, I want to. Entered zero. Yeah, I know. I've entered it wrong. Press one to re-enter your number. Um, oh, I have my standard stuff here, so I'll just try grabbing that. Uh, so I have a standard letter all ready to go every day, but uh, that one there, phone number, and what are they? Australia, do they have New Zealand? Pop you down. entered zero. If oh. this is correct, press one. To re-enter your number, press two. Press one. New Zealand. O two one nine six one six five two. Unable to find your account based on the information provided. Ugh. Try again. Press one. If you need help finding your personal meeting ID or host key, press two. Or to return to the main menu, press three. Go back to three. Thank you for calling Zoom Video Communications, powered by Zoom Contact Center. <laughs> to purchase Zoom products, press one. For technical support, 
press two for billing. Let's try two. Thank you for calling Zoom support. You can find answers to many questions or submit a ticket at support.zoom.us. Are we going to get help? Talk to a real person? For account verification, please enter your 10-digit personal meeting ID or your 9 to 11-digit scheduled meeting ID, followed by the pound sign. I don't think it's going to happen. So theoretically, I have sent a letter of complaint. (laughs) Chat with an expert, open. Let's try that. I don't know if you can see this. I'm just trying to get rid of a few screens on my thingy. Um, so what I've done here, guys, I'm actually now on James Consultant. Hello, James. Who's this? Is this in it? Hello. Is we this... did not get any entry. We go Please away. Enter... It's just a waste of time. Uh, I don't know how I got to this site. Just Arts Expert. It's nothing to do with it at all, is it? It's an advert. I can't believe that. I just clicked on advert from Zoom's own shit. Uh, Zoom pissedcustomer.com. Oh, my goodness. So let's just do that for shits and giggles again. Let's ring up Zoom again and see if um, anything else happens. We'll do that. And we'll try to go through a different Thank angle, Thank you perhaps. for calling Zoom Video Communications, powered by Zoom contact center to purchase zoom products press one for technical support press two for billing press three to repeat this menu now let's try ringing up the they've got a phone number in here called legal and i I presume that's in america so i have to do plus six one let's just try it for a laugh let's go plus what does ccpa stand for anyone think I have no idea. So let's go 888 and then 7990566. Let's see what happens if we ring that number. Media, legal, jobs, general info. Thank you for contacting Zoom Video Communications. This mailbox is for residents of California to exercise their privacy rights. You can also exercise your privacy rights by submitting a request at zoom.us slash dsar dash form. If you are not a resident of California or are calling in regards to another privacy matter, please contact us by emailing us at privacy at zoom.us. If you need to report an incident on Zoom, as a potential violation of our terms of service or community standards, please go to zoom.us slash trust-form. If you are a resident of California, please leave a message clearly stating and spelling your name and email address, along with your relationship with Zoom and a description of your request, including whether it is to access, delete, or correct, your information, or if you would like to opt out of marketing communication. Thank you, and have a great day. Hello, Danny DeHeck is my name. We've been reporting a Zoom meeting that's running a multi-level marketing opportunity for the last two years, and you were actually closing down the meetings on a daily basis, but now you seem to be ignoring me. There currently is a meeting that's been ran where there's a thousand people in a Zoom meeting all been pushed a multi-level marketing opportunity. The Zoom ID is 8475076-5749. If you want a passcode, it's 194951. Danny at dheck.com is my email address. Uh, you've already removed me because I've been broadcasting these meetings trying to warn people and they complaint the scammers and now you guys say that I'm in breach of your own terms and conditions. So if you search for my email address, Danny at dehek, D-E-H-E-K dot com, you'll find that you'll have a scree of messages from me. You need to close these meetings down. You actually are facilitating part of the crime. 
we have a team of people who report these meetings on a daily basis and no one shuts them down. I don't believe it's that hard for you guys to police your own platform. So I'm asking for a little bit of help. I'm a YouTuber and I broadcast every day and I'm broadcasting as I record this meeting. One day we will get a phone call from Zoom and they will be willing to work with us. That's all we're asking. So please close down that meeting. I've already reported it to the links. But if you want to give me a telephone call, I'm based in New Zealand. So you'll need to do plus six four. And then my phone number is two one nine six one six five two. Um, please give us a room back. Please don't tell us to go fill out another form. We need some action. We need someone higher up in Zoom to contact us and work with us. You have a great day, and you're awesome if you do something about this. If you just put it in the too hard basket, then it's just stopping people. We're literally watching $200,000 a day being scammed from this, this company, and the way they promote their meeting is via your platform. We just want to ask you guys to do something about it. And if you can help us, it would be awesome. Thank you. I don't know if it makes any friggin' difference. I doubt it very much. But you obviously can't ring um, Zoom that, that easily. Um, what was I going to show you guys? Something interesting. Um, you know, if you think, like, I just uploaded this this one here last night. And it's Keith Williams uh, doing his Saturday morning training to encourage people. Good afternoon and good evening. Welcome to Saturday afternoon, Saturday morning, Saturday evening. Leadership training with myself, Keith Williams, all the way from the Midlands, Birmingham, in the UK. I'm back home. And I've got Kalpesh, my dear friend, my buddy, my chum, my partner in. Are you there? You're not speaking. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I'm here. I'm coming. I'm coming. So his mate that's coming has theoretically made $89 million from Hyperverse. And he's currently living in Dubai. And he's been running and promoting other opportunities. Keith Williams, well, he lives in a $3 million mansion. He never had any money, but he's got a lot of money. A couple of million dollars with a couple of mil on the bank. And also he's got property and he's also been feeding money offshore. So I've heard from pretty reliable sources. Currently he has stage four cancer. So if you look at the little tiny little photo on the left of Keith, that was taken on his 60th birthday. And that is Keith's current condition. Keith realizes that he's got terminal cancer. He's been trying to fight it, but no joy. And this is obviously Keith running a meeting that was um, promoting hyperverse where people just lost you know, $1.9 billion. Now, Brenda Chunga, Chunga had bought in $940 million worth of Hyperverse. She is actually um, admitted guilt. And Bitcoin Rodney, who was also promoting the same opportunity, is incarcerated for the second time in his life. And he's um, go, about to go to court. And Keith, well, he's not walking free because he's got stage four cancer. But Kalpesh Patel, which is about to come on the screen You're here. Coming, yeah. <laughs> is actually going to be charged for serious fraud, just like Sam Lee, and that will happen soon, mark my words. So this, these videos were um, provided to show um, him committing the crime and promoting this opportunity with recklessly, is what they will say in the court documents. <laughs> Good to see you, pal. Boom, there you go. Hey, Boom. You <laughs> I was in the meeting. Let's do this. Let's get, How this, we doing? Let's get this show on the road. Well, I didn't get wow, out. what a week we've had, Cal. Great to be, uh, it was great to be in uh, Dubai with you. All the leaders, lots of leaders popped up uh, at the event, the Crypto no, Expo. Uh, I just got back last night, uh, long 13-hour um, trek back to the UK. Great to be back, but uh, I just do just miss Dubai. Already I miss it already, guys. <laughs> We'll not be doing that again. But it's great to be back home. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, I had to pay at the counter, at the ticket counter. No. <laughs> Ouch. But oh, I'm gosh. back here in the UK. Wow, what an amazing time we had in Dubai. The Crypto Expo, Expo was off the rails, off the charts. It was Wasn't incredible. it? And I've got my T-shirt. Can you see it there, guys? We were with the hey. guys at Hyper. That's right. Uh, guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> I only brought two back, <laughs> just for technical <laughs> training and leadership. 
But uh, it's so great to see you and, and Dizzy and uh, Martin and Rory and so many of the leaders, so many of the leaders. Really, really, really. Thanks, Sharice. Yes, I'm pumped up. You can see the guns already, guys. I'm <laughs> ready for today's leadership. I say we have a, an amazing platform count with an amazing rewards plan and with a personal development tagged on as an extra. Boom. How about that? Absolutely, 100%, man. It was, uh, I mean, the, the uh, Crypto Expo, I'll tell you what, I, there were so many people that flew in from around the world. That was unexpected. I mean, the number of... Oh, what's happening here? Maybe because I cleared the cache in my um, browser history. It may have members that we ended up meeting. I knew there were a whole bunch that said they are going to come, but there were tons more that didn't mention anything, just showed up in their droves. So if you look in the background, you can actually see uh, Keith Thorne's background is from his own house, not his new house that he bought for £3 million. That was inspiring. India um, well then, represented, Nepal was represented, South Africa. We had Nigeria there. We had the US as well, some members from the US. Italy, we had leaders from the Philippines Italy. and, of course, from Dubai. The UK was well represented as well. Cal, it was amazing. It was a great, it was great uh, two, three days. Um, and, of course, on the back of that fabulous leadership we had two weeks ago with 11 VIP fives, uh, that uh, was has gone down in the annals, that one, memorable. Truly, absolutely. Have not heard that leadership uh, two weeks ago. Please get on the recording. It's amazing. Testimony. Absolutely must. Oh, is it? So yes, now, the leadership with all the v eleven V fives on one Zoom at once never happened before. So this was a video that I actually had on my hard drive, and I thought, what I'm going to do is going to put it back online because I'm actually creating a bit of a a timeline of events, and I'm going to show you what I'm doing it for because people are asking for evidence now. Uh, yesterday we, we had um, Sergey asking for evidence. So I went through and I thought, well, I've actually got all these videos, which I have had in the past. So I'll give you an example of this. This one. is Stephen here. So what I've done with Stephen here, and not Perks become a member. What have I done here? Oh, look at that. I'm actually logged in as Carl Miller, would you believe? I might give myself a wee like while I'm there. I just uh, switched my account because I cleared my um, cache. I've actually got 7,100 subscribers at the moment. Isn't that cool? All right. Includes a variety so, of NFTs, done, my friend. non fungible tokens. It's a fancy have, name oh, for a unique piece of digital property have. on the blockchain. Art, music, coming. sports memorabilia, and trading cards, games, and many other areas are finding NFTs are a unique verifiable new way to identify something on its own. More and more mainstream companies have been trying to get a slice of the pie, and the latest one should be a familiar name for most of us, Nike. The sportswear giant have just acquired an NFT studio called RTFKT, which primarily makes NFTs for sneakers for the metaverse. This is yet well, another well, that's major very fresh this. Um, There's a method of my madness here, and I'm all over there. This is a bit of a popcorn meeting, but I want to ask you guys anyway, do so you have any incriminating videos that you remember watching and if they're on youtube or you've got them on your hard drive please supply them to me because i'm actually releasing this one so the really cool thing about this particular video is that the guy in the picture there is obviously stephen um hamilton and he is actually stephen reese lewis and he was a paid actor so if you go into um the description of this video yeah, you'll see that, that i've actually a variety of I'll just make sure i've got it right yep i have so now what i've done is i've actually made them i've put all the timestamps, so you can see when stephen come out um you know at the different times i'll just play that one for a bit hello everyone this is so these are all the different videos and the dates and hopefully i've got the dates right but okay. i wanted to Hi, provide everyone. this is stephen a sort of a an archive of all these Stephen Rees Lewis. Videos. Hi everyone, this is Stephen. Because I think that Stephen Rees Lewis is, should be accountable for what he's CEO done. of Hyperverse. Stephen Harris, thank you. Today I want to talk to Stephen you about Harris, something very. Name. But in here, I've also put um, first thing. What I've done is I've put four links in the description. So the first one, second one, third one, and last one. And how they work is the first one is actually 
This guy is Stephen Reese Lewis. He's the CEO of the now defunct crypto platform, Hyperverse. And there's one big problem. Stephen Reese Lewis does not exist. It's a fake name, fake identity with a very impressive fake resume that was created for the purposes of pumping this. So there's a good friend of mine now, nobody special finance, and his name is um, Jack Gamble. And he found the real Stephen Reese Lewis. And that was after um, this article here, Chief Executive Collapsed Crypto Fund Hyperverse does not appear to exist. So here's here's the, the article that he read. Oh my goodness, I'm not having much luck today. Here's the article that Jack read. And then he went for a search and said, I think I can find this guy. Because, you know. And then when he found him, he, then he produced another video basically talking about the article that he was in and and um you know and he read through the article that Sarah Martin written. Now if you haven't been up to the play on this, Sarah Martin as a reporter who works for The Guardian, and I've been helping her provide lots of information about the history of Hyperverse and the, and the like, which has been quite exciting. So, and then she did a follow-up article um, about how Jack Gamble actually uh, found him and the real Stephen Reeves Lewis, which is really exciting. So that was quite cool. So what I did is I wanted to, if I've got this right, provide a video where it's a one-stop shop. So you've got all the videos of Stephen Reese Lewis together, bar one. I found one yesterday where he was in the launch of Hyperverse video, which is absolute crap. And then I'm putting all the timestamps where those videos were released and also the four articles related to him being a fraud. And then um, that's one video. So obviously some of these videos that we are doing just like the one i was showing you um really does have some incriminating information so some of the things that are incriminating about this particular video that i've got on the screen here is the people that were involved in hyperverse now you'd think that they would read the newspaper and go oh my goodness it's such a terrible tragedy uh, that i was involved in the scam i thought it was true and genuine i really thought i could put a thousand dollars in and 600 days get three uh thousand dollars back but um, when you go and look at these, I just have to refresh this. Sorry, nothing's going right today. Huh? It's because I cleared my cache and the VIP fives. Uh, that uh, was has gone down in the annals. That but if you go into here, like everything that my parents, my grandparents, is what I call the uh, blurry face suckerfish lady, and her name is Brittany Smart, and she's called Coach. Brittany. Now we have Fiona, is it Fiona? And we are also Toshi doing presentation. She's their version of Coach Whitney. You know, and then if you go through her enough, you'll see other people um, like Valerie, Valerie the singer. And she's in here and she's been in We Are Also Toshi. But you would think these people would have learned there's Valerie there. So that's Valerie A. Campbell. Now she's been promoting We Are Also Toshi. So these guys don't give it up. That's my point. I mean, and then they, they have all the people at the end. This was a four-hour meeting. So this is actually quite condemning uh, if you have been following it like I have. But do you guys have any other videos that you could ping me that are worthwhile sort of like archiving? I mean, this guy here is called uh, Grandpa Crypto, and he traveled around the UK in a van um, trying to recruit people into Hyperverse. He's a freaking retired businessman. I mean, why do they do this stuff for? But, you know, once again, it's just another day in the office for a multi-level marketer. Uh, who else have we got? Is that uh, Tracy? But there's another guy called Tracy that's in all these videos as well. Um, so I'm not saying sit here and watch my four-hour video, but I am saying if you've got any videos where it condemns these people, like uh, there's a lady called Sharon James, um, you know, she has been promoting every Ponzi scheme is known to man. Now, Bill, he, at the time this video was um, recorded, he, he was a, a caregiver looking after his son that was really sick. His son's since died, and he poured out his heart basically saying that the community of Hyperverse is what got him through looking after his son. But he's back in there now promoting, uh, I've seen him in We Are All Satoshi meetings. So I get I get fascinated by this, and uh, no doubt Rob does as well, and anyone else. You may just recognise these faces. 
but then you know you think well what am what am I doing with this information well obviously i'm I'm building it into a, a database and I've gone through and I've collected as much information because I'm literally getting people contacting me now asking me for videos of these people committing crimes, which is quite exciting, but it's also very time consuming and I don't really have the time, but then I sort of got carried away because uh Sergey wanted a video of Kalpesh Patel promoting um you know, so this is my database. These are the people that I've got articles on and videos of, and I give these to people who need the information to prosecute these guys. That's literally what I'm doing. So if somebody asks for some information on Chavez, I don't actually have a hell of a lot on Chavez, but I don't really need it at the moment because I'm quite a fave with it. But if, if somebody wanted information on uh, Ryan Jew, for example, you can see I've got accolades of information. This whole timeline of this company is involvement with, you know, um, OKX or you know, um, his phone numbers, you know, where we last saw him, um, you know, just absolutely oodles of information. Um, this was a house that they're meant to have rented in California, for example, and pictures of McLarens and, you know, just goes on and on and on. Anyway, so, yeah, so I get fascinated looking through these videos of the people that are in it and are still actively involved in it. And obviously, Kalpesh Patel, well, he's meant to have made 90 not, uh, 60, sorry, $89 million from Hyperverse. There's Sharon Sharon there. Uh, I feel a little bit James. of pain at the moment. Just look beyond that pain and look for the future. Look at where Keith and Kalpish have been the last few days. All right, so that was when, this was earlier on in the days when they were having withdrawal failures. And she's just saying, hang in there, guys. And everyone's going, yeah, yeah, just hang in. They've, they've, they've stopped the money. But does that sound familiar? And then you've got this idiot guy, um, Mario, the Uber driver, uh, hyper driver, they call him, you know, and he's been in We Are Also Toshi leadership meetings. I've, I've trapped him in there before, not trapped him, but seen him in there before. But no doubt you um, you would recognize some of these faces. Um, but yeah, well, some good videos. I mean, there's some good historical videos out there, isn't there? Um, the other one that I've just put on lately that may be quite good. We've got Stephen Reese Lewis. Is this one here? You say, you put this on. Now that one there is not going to help me because it's got um, it's got music in the background and it's already been flagged as um, you can't. But look at the there's Ryan Jew, Sam Lee looking like the man. Um, this is when they're working in a blockchain center in sydney and it looks look like a shared office space to be honest uh but it shows the humble beginnings so go and find that video hi i'm sam i'd like to introduce you to my girlfriend okay so his girlfriend's bitcoin and my wife loves her very much so um who, what am i talking about it's bitcoin yeah so you got um then then you've got ryan um, you know, so this is where they, they started in Bitcoin Group. And then Bitcoin Group got renamed to Blockchain Global. Sam actually owned um, Blockchain Global and Ryan actually owned Colin Star Capital. But they, Colin Star Capital owned 40% of Blockchain Global. But you might be interested. And then just a couple of months ago, Alan Glow had, um, uh, what am I trying to say? Alan Glow actually had his passport removed because he's a flight risk. And then it turns out that he's been living in a $2 million such and such house. And, uh, you know, and it's just um, obviously still living uh, with investors' money, which is just sickening. So if I went to um, Sarah Martin, um, the former bank what have we got here former a month ago banned by leaving uh yeah so here so don't think things aren't happening but this is um the former crypto director banned from leaving australia after blockchain global collapsed owing 58 million so even right up to just uh one month ago um these oh, what can i get this going what's happening here hold up why can't I open this article? I cleared my cache and it's killed everything. Quick and easy. What am I doing wrong here, kids? I can't open this article. This is my article support us. Do I have to log in? What's going on? What's going on? 
Anyway, you don't need to read the article, but it is interesting when you've been following this. Quick and easy. Oh, I see. Register free. I'll do it later. Oh, goodness. That was hard to see. All right. So there's a cow. Hello, cow. Must be New Zealand a cow. But here's an article all about um, Alan Glow and how he's had his passport removed and he's not allowed to leave Australia or have his passport back because he is a flight risk. Um, but yeah, I won't bore you with that. But my point being, kids, is that um, these guys that you see in these photos uh, and these guys in these videos are getting things that are happening now. So they're all having good fun. Shit. Look at Sam's demeanor here. He, Sam there thinks he's just the man. Um, but, you know, these are meant to be two billionaires. You know, Ryan Jew's a crypto investor, and a, a couple of years later, he's meant to have invested in over 400 companies and um, helped Binance and a whole lot of other exchanges get off the ground and launch. I mean, just how much shit and giggles, shit information do you need to listen to before you realize that everything these guys are doing on these Zoom meetings are just there to mislead people but have a look at those videos i mean i started playing one yesterday and it was um Kalpish patel listen to the accolades um that he says about ryan Jones. tether ethereum that's a huge one did them on day one uh, they're the big thing he bought online listen to this solved that problem imagine talk about way ahead of the curve most people have still not heard of quantum computers and these guys have been working on solving the problem around that for four years. Anyway, that gives you a bit of an insight into what they're doing, what they're up to, and uh, what their daily activities are. The owner that I've been talking about, Ryan Zhu, a self-made multi-billionaire in the crypto and blockchain space. And he started his journey in 2009. In fact, in 2008, he read a white paper online which talked about this new currency that was coming into the world called Bitcoin. He got very, very excited very quickly as he understood the power of what was being said and started mining Bitcoin in 09. And subsequently today, he's the biggest cryptocurrency, one of the biggest cryptocurrency miners in the world. In fact, he's the first person to do large scale mining in 2014, 2015. He bought every machine that he could get his hands on in the world. He ended up buying 20% of the world's machinery and put it all under one roof. And then now this was back in 2009, and I just showed you a video of him working in Melbourne with Sam Lee in 2014 with their first company that they theoretically started, um, which all this stuff just does not add up, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, just uh, what are we doing here, Danny? We're doing this. So, you know, when you look at this company here, and the humble, this is, I've actually labeled this the humble beginnings of, um, you know, Ryan and Sam in Melbourne. And these guys at the time, you know, if you followed, we fit, this video wasn't available, well, it was available at the time, but no one knew where it was. But if you go through and look at the whole history of their company and what they're all about and who they are, you know, the the presentation that Kalpesh Patel is doing here about uh ryan right now is just absolutely hopeless even if you go back now remember sam lee is the person that started um we are all satoshi theoretically <laughs> and listen to five this. publicly listed companies to date his business partner and our chairman sam lee sam lee is also a very very well-known personality in australia he's known as the crown prince of blockchain and he's uh the go-to guy for CNN, BBC, Forbes, and Bloomberg when they want the latest update on blockchain development. He's spoken at the United Nations, the World Economic Forum, about the technology. And Blockchain Global services clients such as Amazon, Microsoft, and other Fortune 500 companies, as well as having government contracts under its belt as well. This is one slide. There are lots like this. So government contracts under his belt as well. Can you imagine the government working with Sam Lee? I've just reduced them all to give a maximum impact in the shortest amount of time. But you can see here the Australian Trade Investment Commission, the Rus a Russian government-owned bank, Ambassador of Indonesia. Whatever it was called, um, Kesha Bank. <laughs> Chairman of the Securities Exchange Commission, the SEC of Montenegro, Geneva Delegation, uh, Big Fintock Authorities of Bangkok, 
all uh, welcoming blockchain centers. Again, another MOU signed with the, the Danish consulate. So the list goes on and on and on, right? I, don't, I mean, they've pretty much got the whole world covered. Whole world covered. I wonder how that covering is going at the moment. Pretty exposed, I think, old Sam Lee, isn't he? They're so far ahead of the curve that now when governments want to know about blockchain, these guys are like on the... the I think the American government's after Sam now. The directory's top of the list, all right? They're just that deep into this, the, you know, that they've created the industry pretty much. Um, I won't say single-handedly. Oh, he's created the industry. Now the industry has turned into a whole lot of Ponzi schemes. But they are one of maybe about a dozen people in the world that are responsible so for where blockchain is today. They've there. done everything Brilliant, to make sure that this industry has uh, been accepted and embraced and uh, respected by governments, authorities and institutions globally. Uh, so in the last six question. years, concentrated effort, they've created this multi-billion dollar blueprint. I want to ask you a question at this stage. Do you know of any other company owner that has gone from zero to this level of success and growth in their first six years? I don't. I've been an entrepreneur my entire life. I've studied entrepreneurship for decades. I'm fascinated by the world of business entrepreneurship. I love it. And I've never read about an owner who's gone from zero to not one, not two, not three, but multiple multi-billion dollar companies in six years. It's unheard of. And a lot of that is to do with, yes, the owner is a visionary, of course, he's a genius, he's a legend, he's all of those things. But it's also to do with timing and trend. The biggest trend in the world right now in economics is blockchain. And within that trend, these guys are the dominant force. Ryan is the number one blockchain if you like uh you know even looking at the uh logos they've got in here they've got elf elf um union which is a scam that's just raised its ugly head again recently that's been shut down that's the one that tammy and Gobi were promoting and even like they've got the logo of united nations on there um it's just uh, r r ridiculous they claim that digital x was um listed on the share market well it was but it purchased another company that was <laughs> And then they grouped them all together and claimed that it was the same company. You know, all this bullshit that I'm sure you guys are well aware of now. So what bullshit are you getting fed at the moment is the question. Look, I've just been scouting around the internet in the background while I've been listening to Cal Peach there. And I found a um, another meeting that has just been broadcast an hour ago. Uh, and obviously, uh, this is the Indian meeting, so it's not going to be very exciting. But Dostum, lucky has been lately. Aye, ek bar fir. On Indian Zoom, Ratko okay. Wonder how many people they've got in here. historical moment automatically uske doubts or clarity rehti hai, jo clear karna hota hai. Hum sab aaj usi ka prayas kar rahe hai. So we're probably not going to understand much okay. of that. मैं आप सबको बताना चाहती हूं कि मेरा Yeah, lucky's got people in her, uh, in her community that have actually died by suicide listening to her advice. So um anyway, so there is a lot of activity happening. The website's down at the moment. Um I thought we'd just go through it and see if there was any questions and answers or pictures or graphs. Um but obviously this is just broadcast as stream live. Now the Indian community have had their have streaming services interrupted because they can't get on Zoom and they've actually just been recording these meetings and then um, putting them on Zoom. So obviously they've got themselves back in order. Zoom don't care anymore. Have you missed seeing that guy talking, don't you? It doesn't sound any different talking in Indian than English. You still can't understand him. But well, thank you. Uh, yeah, if you go back and forth and you're looking at information like I have been over the last couple of years, you've got um, Hyperverse. You know, they're running the same sort of meetings. Everything stops. Everything's hurry up and wait. Nothing gets you eventuates. Um, I believe what they're going to come out with now is one, one main arbitrage system that no one's going to see. They're going to claim they're doing arbitrage trading. And they're going to tell you that because you've bought a license, you are now going to get dividends from trading and eventually you'll get your three times back as promised and that's what they're going to be doing so mark my words on that one 
But what I really wanted to see is I wanted to see if they actually had any questions and answers from their own community, or it's just another situation of a controlled, and this is what it is. This is a controlled group of people who are telling us. Is it 20 cards or address, hai na, sir? Support ticket bhi maine raise kiya, lekin tu reply nahi aaya, sir. महिलाएं भी है तो आप सभी से दरख्वास्त रहेगी कि कृपया करके आप मुझे मिहिर साहब मिहिर झा जी हैं और भट्ट साहब हैं और राजीव साहब जो कर रहे हैं उनके थ्रू ये गोल्डन अपॉर्चुनिटी मुझे इसमें मिली है तो कर लकी शी इज लाइक हैप्पी इज हैप्पी हैप्पी इज अ स्पेयर इन अ पॉल ऑफ शिप स्पेस और अभी मैं न्यू कमर हूं जस्ट आज ही मेरा इट्स गोल्डन अपॉर्चुनिटी और जो 500 डॉलर डिपॉजिट का होता है वो प्रोसेस पूरा हुआ गोल्डन अपॉर्चुनिटी और बाकी ऐसी काउंट में न्यू कैंबर जस्ट रजिस्टर्ड और यू पास विद और फसिंग आप लोगों की काफी अच्छी लग रही है वो धीरे धीरे एक अच्छा लर्नर हूं सर और मैं विश्वास दिलाता हूं कम्युनिटी को कि बड़ा भूमि सुनकर के दिखाऊंगा बाकी आप लोगों का और जो भी मेरे इसमें रिस्पेक्टेड अपॉइंट है उनका आशीर्वाद रहा और सपोर्ट मिला तो बहुत बड़ा करके दिखाऊंगा सर थैंक यू सर थैंक यू वेलकम वेलकम टू द फैमिली यू आर इज वेलकम वेलकम टू द फैमिली सो समबडी साइंड अप एंड इज वेलकम टू द फैमिली इज नॉट एक्साइटिंग सो अगले हमारे साथ भूनी जी हैं भूनी जी प्लीज अपना सवाल पूछकर कन्वर्ट का ऑप्शन दे रहे हैं हेलो हां सर मैं आई एम ऑडिबल यस यू आर हां एक तो सर सभी को ईद की बहुत बहुत शुभकामनाएं और सबका बहुत बहुत आप सबका बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद कि आपने मुझे मौका दिया बोलने के लिए और बस सर एक छोटी सम बैगन चाहिए कि अभी जैसे लकी मैडम ने बोला कि हमें एक ओपिनियन देना है कि हम 300 टाइम्स लेना चाहते हैं तो सर मेरी तरफ से मेरी टीम की तरफ से ओपिनियन तो यही है कि हमेशा के लिए थ्री टाइम्स वाला ही मिले और थ्री एक्सी लिमिट मिले और ऑलमोस्ट मैं लगभग फिफ्टी डॉलर का मैं काम ऑलरेडी कर चुका हूँ एज ए स्टार्टिंग में मैंने लिया था और नेटवर्क मार्केट में दो से Uh, leverage fifty thousand dollars as on. Starting some agriculture. Sounds like this guy is going to put fifty thousand dollars in it. But as a plan, I MLM. Fifty thousand dollars, and he's going to potentially, if if the system gets going again, get five hundred dollars with his money back, and he's good to go. Sir, no, Milan. And now he has to wait for the delays, like everyone else. He must well get a five hundred dollars license. Sir, I'm actually after thirty-six thirty-five. And I'm just one thousand percent. Just since I started, I'm still confident. Yes, yes, and yes. That our boomerang is going to work. वैसे लोग आज भी पूछते हैं कि सर अभी ऐसा कुछ होगा या मिलीमीटर मिलेगा या नहीं मिलेगा तो मैं इंडियन कम्युनिटी इज एक्चुअली बीइंग क्वाइट गुड आई एम जस्ट ट्राइंग टू फाइंड समथिंग अ लिटिल बिट मोर एक्साइटिंग एमबीपी में होने के बाद उसका साइड चेंज हो जाएगा सर ये बीटा वर्जन में बीटा हट जाएगा और बूमरैंग डॉट पे सॉरी बीटा डॉट बूमरैंग डॉट पे से बीटा हट जाएगा बूमरैंग डॉट पे नहीं लेकिन अभी जो आशा डॉट बूमरैंग आई डोंट थिंक सो आई एम जस्ट क्यूरियस नो वी गो टू बीटा फर्स्ट And then change it to data. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? No, nothing's happening there. It was just a. I did see that. Who have been? No. Obviously, they translated that word beta into data. No, guys. I think maintenance phase. Boomerang dot play. Like beta dot boomerang. Maintenance side. I'm not open. Not open. I'm just. 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 I'm आप कॉन्वर्ट का ऑप्शन दे रहे हैं प्लीज अपना सवाल पूछो ए वी ग्रुप नमस्कार सर सभी को स्वागत है कौन है फ्रॉम आई जस्ट कैन गेट इट हैश पावर का एनएफटी मिलता है ऐसा क्यों होता है वो 10 बार में तो समय लगेगा ही नहीं हां जी लेकिन लोग रिटर्न अप करेंगे ओके लेट्स से मैं जो भी आप पैकेज बाय करते हैं एक कंपनी अपनी तरफ से सर्विस जो आपको दे रहे हैं गिफ्ट दे रहे हैं ये 50 डॉलर वाला करके ठीक है ओके सर ओके थैंक यू सर क्योंकि कुछ लोग हमने देखा है कि 100 हैश पावर का मिला है कुछ लोगों को 10 हैश पावर का एनएफटी मिला तो इसीलिए मुझे लगा कि पैकेज तो सर करते मिलता है थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू और अभी हमारे साथ 
तो वो लॉस भी सौदा होता है प्रॉफिट का भी होता है उसमें एक मार्जिन होके एवरेज होके प्रॉफिट आता है मगर यहाँ जो हम लोग का बूम रैंक का जो यहाँ जो सिस्टम लगाया गया है डेवलप किया गया है यहाँ लॉस का सौदा को एग्जीक्यूट ही नहीं करता है प्रॉफिट का लिमिट है पंद्रह सौ डॉलर यही यूनिक है इसलिए की हर लोग हर आदमी को योगेंद्र जी आप पंद्रह तो ऑप्शन दे रहे हैं प्लीज अपना क्वेश्चन पूछिए तो मैं चाहती हूँ की आप हैंड रेस कीजिए आपको अगर आपको लगता है की गारंटीड तीन गुना करना चाहिए की अनलिमिटेड फ्लैश लोन मिले और तीन गुना हर लाइसेंस पे होना चाहिए और जाके दो सौ ही टाइम्स बेटर है तो जितना भी आप बना सकोगे खुद का देन यू कैन अगर अगर आपको लगता है कि करना चाहिए तीन गुना देन रेज योर हैंड्स 400 पीपल हां वी आर 400 सो वी हैव 5 10 15 25 50 75 100 125 150 175 going 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 175 200 yeah pretty boring but anyway just sort of go through that painful process um this time look that was 2 hours ago 2 days ago um and there is 
there is a, a few other channels. Obviously, you've got Joe's YouTube channel, which is horrible. Can't stand to look at that one. Ten days ago was the last time he did any stuff on there. Uh, Boomerang. Who's this crowd? Boomerang D. They don't have any latest content. But they look like they're just trying to promote it so they get the commission. First glance. That's what I sort of come up with. Um, this is Spanish four days ago. He doesn't give it up, does he? Old Eunice, is it? <laughs> and I did notice another one there. Dable, a stable day or official, which is quite interesting. Um, so they've still got these, um, you know, meetings here. Now, these are some historical meetings that you may have not seen, but check out um, Chavez here working at Stable Day, obviously, for Sam. That's where he first come into it. Well, it wasn't when he first come into it. This is just part of it. So he's been working for Sam, by the look of it, even though he's got his own tech company. What's uh Memories from all those times. I think I was telling you, Chavez, that uh, I landed in Palam Airport, the old airport uh, in Delhi one time. Uh, and one story I didn't tell you was uh, we were heading in an ambassador with uh, my trunk on top of the uh, um, on top of the uh, frame on top of the car. Mm -hmm. um, in, in, in Indian ambassadors, they have frame on top in which they keep the stuff. Yes, but there's no there's no bungee strap or anything to hold it. It was just mm -hmm. knocking. Knocking. Uh, it was very uh, misty, as you know. Sometimes in Delhi, can be very misty. Mm -hmm. And as driving full pelt, which must be at least uh, forty kilometers an hour, or maybe forty-five, uh -huh. in those, we saw a big uh, shadow, and uh, we realized that it was an elephant coming straight towards us in the middle of the road. <laughs> so I remember this uh, wonderful memory. Uh, yeah. So you can find other um, other videos there where Chavez has obviously been involved with these companies. Um, yeah, eight months ago, this is what Chavez was doing. Okay, just eight months ago, you Chavez lovers. Where's Chavez? But has it hesitate to bring your friends over? So waiting for Sam, and then we will start. It will shine. And by the way, today is shining. Today is shining. Rain, hail, or shine. We, as a group of 41 participants, all oh, 42 participants, awesome. We, as a group of 42 participants, uh, are here on the boardroom Zoom twice a week. What's the e sign today? What's the e sign today? So, e sign was about energy. Sorry? Energy. Uh, oh, wow. Energy. Okay. Yeah. Well, if uh, I talk a little bit too much, I might let slip what the next great opportunity is. So, you know, I just want to say that the energy inside this room of 50 people, 50 participants, 51 participants is electrifying. It's electrifying. And the energy that is moving the vehicle I am in right now is magical. Mm. People sometimes just underestimate themselves. But I'm here to teach everyone how to be more resilient with their minds to have strong mental fortitude to get through just about anything Very just much. about anything i just want to say a big thank you i want to just say a big thank you to everyone who has participated in my selfie wall the cutoff of my selfie wall as you know happens around this time today and i just want to say that the grand total of people who posted on my selfie wall today because I think everyone is just so busy making a lot of money and telling a lot of friends about how to make a lot of money. You know, as we change the world for the better, turn things upside down. All right. Yeah, it's definitely turn them upside down. So a grand total of 52 people are here with me today uh, for me to give. Carol, Lady C, thanks for her selfie today. That's right. I only received one selfie in the last 24 hours in my selfie, uh, uh, selfies for Sam Group. One selfie. Chavis looks pretty Do you know handy. what that means? On the UK primetime Zoom, I will have just one person right behind me. One person right behind me. Even if I have one person that I'm supporting and helping, I'm feeling needed He's in noble. this world. Very and noble. as long as I am feeling needed, 
of the virtual movie. All the, all the misunderstanding through. and misguided hatred. And to just help even just one person to stay alive and move things <sighs> forward to help that one person. So, for me and Chavez, uh, we both have one person that we support and help. And that's why me and Chavez are very close because we both support and help that one person. We share below. I want you guys to now, 58 people, this small but growing group of people, you know. And by the way, I will talk for another 20 minutes. Don't you worry, I will talk for another 20 minutes. So you can bring some friends if you want. But this intimate group of 58 people on today's boardroom Zoom, I just want to thank. And I just want you guys to now close your eyes. Thank Travis, you. Close your eyes. Good. <laughs> um, everyone with their eyes closed and just think of that one person that will be the first person that you help. It's not about helping them with a hundred dollars or a million dollars. I just want you to close your eyes and think of a first person you would you get enjoyment, excitement, pleasure helping. Okay. Uh, so the first person that comes to mind. Okay. It's just a now, video. Open your eyes. And unfortunately, I'm rolling on the street right now, so I don't have a pen and paper with me. But what I will do, what I will do is ask you guys to do me a favor and write. The name of the person you want to help. Okay. Oh my God, I can't stand listening to this anymore. But interesting stuff, though, isn't it? Because theoretically, if you go to their lives, they had four lives, and you've got Shavas in here seven months ago, basically in bed with Sam. Um, I'm just trying to see. They've had heaps of lives. I mean, what's this? The Russian. Uh, you know, webinars. I'm just having a look. Uh, webinar, official webinars. Explanation this is 10 months ago. Here's Jarvis. I think I might need to copy one of these videos and put it out there. So keep sharing the link so that more and more people in your network can join and understand what is stable opinion and how. It is going to uh, uh, change your life, how it is going to change your perspective. So in the next couple of minutes, we will start. So did that stable opinion change uh, change your life? <laughs> Shavas was pushing this. So here's stable Important. opinion. Why is it, uh, is it uh, you know, becoming a, a, a great, uh, you know, great platform where people joining and people who are yet to join they will change they will change their lives this is this is very strong this is very uh, simple and the outcomes are are futuristic the the factor of longevity with stable opinion is is the is the prime most thing thing that we care about so let's understand so with stable opinion we are transforming our participants into prosumers. And by becoming a prosumer, you participate directly in the product development process. The life cycle process of a product is, uh, is monitored, is determined by you. And the decision-making process of formation of different opportunities are in the hands of stable opinion now. And we are getting big every day, every hour we are increasing in numbers, oh. in terms of business also, in terms channels? of associations You're from with game, different right? companies, new partners are onboarded every day. And this whole revolution to bring different opportunities is, is in our plate. And even with this, uh, you know, with this uh, Genesis uh, source, we are able to, you know, provide you with great incentives, great incomes for just giving your opinion. And this is simply amazing. Wow. So uh, let's start talking about the, the uh, utility of stable opinion. With stable opinion, we are uh, revolutionizing mass opinion. We are bringing the, the power of blockchain technology. It should be done like this. And it, oh, it does that look very similar to, to um, We Are All Satoshi Your voice PowerPoint presentation? To, to this entire life survey, you get paid $4 every week until you reach $200. And once you make $200, you know, out. And once you make 900, you repurchase. 
And once you repurchase, you start making 900 again. Same as... It is a continuous process. What they're doing and then there will be elite subscription, Nothing. which will be launched very soon. And with elite subscription, you will be able to upgrade your standard subscription to elite by paying the difference of 200. Or you can also upgrade your basic into elite. And so can't wait to, to see you all upgrade and become an elite elite prosumer and then premium prosumer. So right now we have something basic and standard. For a while, wasn't it? Uh, you know, active, and that can be, uh, that those can be subscribed. So, elite... And no, this is, this is stable opinion, or stable Dao. Put more people in, according to your own wish. Everyone's KYC Big network can become massive. And this there is, is nothing, there's no rocket that science. That T -Sharp is doing. So, not only was he promoting Hyper One, here he is promoting... It's 2500 Are producing $15. So, I think this is actually worthy. So, what I'm... I would like to is to actually find the best one of these videos of Shahvis promoting it um, because it's actually quite uh, amazing to actually see. So <laughs> eight months ago, this Zoom, for example, and there's Sam in his um, Dubai Chinese office, as I call it. Uh, can you all confirm, look around each other? That We've got Gobi in, in here. So that we can start. And there's that Bill guy telling me about they lost his son. Well, um, whilst we're waiting for everything to start, I just want to introduce everyone to my fish. <laughs> Hi, fish. Yeah. And look, even Most Roy Kanach is in here. Well, if you're hungry, <laughs> you can. Well, it's Mabry in here. I mean, no, yeah, um, these names are... Uh, seven, seven fish with me, right? You know, um, this guy. I've seen him um, the seven people around that are part of my board, uh, of my organization. You know. And what, what what a seven person board does it means that we move very slowly even these guys because we just can't agree to a lot of and things sean and so claims he, our meetings involve he doesn't get into these more people marketing platforms getting approved which is always good incredible <laughs> so there's some real big names which is always good because you don't want to be uh, schizophrenic and all over the place when you're trying to make the right decisions hmm. You know, these are the lies that these guys rave on about. For a six-week process, we will yeah, have this is ten everyone ago, guys. in roughly where ten they need to be. Ago. But during the six weeks, I will continue to engage. I will continue to have dialogue. And and look, Sam holding up bits of paper again. A vortex. So in the pyramid, we have the... So what, what has he got pushing here? Okay. So you guys came up with, with the word redemption. I want to call it ascension. <clears throat> because uh, there is more to D5. I want to be involved in creating what's more to D5. So is this when he was pitching to all the VIP fights? Okay. It? These stolen pictures. So I got... simply cloned the website. Can we click on register? Oh, so this is when he, um, this website will still be live today. Did you know that? Um, I'll okay. click that. It's called the... So you guys came up with, uh, the, with the word uh, redemption. Uh, I want to call it ascension. <clears throat> Because uh, there is more to do. Uh, this is live now. This is the website that he ripped off to restart up Hyperverse. And it's still live on the back of Stable Day. So if you go to Stable Limited, Stable Dot Limited, the family website of where all Satoshi logos, Ven Stable Day is still live today. Isn't that crazy? To achieve. But. For you guys to understand that, you guys have to be involved. So this is when he's doing his big um, launch. So that was, uh, I did remember seeing that come out. But I'm probably more interested in actually um, <laughs> scamming a white paper. It certainly is. I'm probably more interested in actually finding a stream with Shabbos on it, um, promoting stable opinion, to be honest. I'm just trying to think of the best video that they've got in their collection. But, you know, if you're looking at Boomerang and you think Shabbos doesn't have a history of promoting Ponzi schemes and scams, I mean, there's no doubt about it. This is exactly what... Uh, four, uh, sorry, seven photos he's been of doing. nine people. I mean, you've got Tracy, Parcel. Um, but uh, I think we have Oops. a good outcome. You know, uh, I, I feel that last... Yeah. Um, so what else have we got here? I'm trying to... Is this meant to be Shabbos in this picture, is it? Is that meant to be Shabbos, is it? 
webinar what's their very first video because that's the one that's got the most traffic <laughs> so uh, just go ahead and search on youtube stable DAO official and we're live with the official zoom uh, official youtube let me drop the maybe in here again yeah mm -hmm. this is a very unusual one Recording in progress. Uh, right. Good morning, good afternoon. Good evening, good evening. So, and we've got Gobi running the meeting. I'm a Bitcoin maximalist. I've been in this industry since 2010, and I have maxed out all my credit cards to play this best, and I have done very well for myself. Oh, really? So, the future is one which is undefined and is unpredictable because the future is one that is not written by the few. It is oh, will they have many more. because without a centralized ecosystem, the regulators mean nothing. Okay, we've heard of this shit before many times. We do not allow for any new participation in the beta of, uh, beta of the deal. So what that means is, um, you know, for people who participated in the beta, thank you so much. But we don't have any more people about mini look. the data. And there's right. the Jarvis in there with Gobi. And, and they've all got their own separate ways. They're still looking for the same industry. Uh, uh, my involvement is I'm here to bail out the community to make sure that everyone is made whole. You know? Right, yeah, I remember seeing that video. Oh, you know who We have 2,000 exhibit accounts. We've been greedy. I'm not blaming you. Right. 10 accounts, 40 accounts, 30 accounts. Oh, he's telling really um, Magnus Jesus that the community purchased multiple accounts and got greedy. I'm getting refund option to every single people that said you made 100x. You know what I mean? Let me repeat that again. For example, Dr. Anthony, he made his money back. Right? Me, Sam doesn't have to give anything. But he said, no, go me. He's a member. He's got a package. It's live. Oh, wow. I'm Thank you for the comment. So you are going to have everyone. You made money with this. Nebula with 12,700. Cosmic with 25,500. Polaris. I look up Bob's in there. I did. All right. So these are the available subscription options. And uh, well, it starts, it has uh, lovely names Stardust with $100, Vega with $300, Orbital with $700, uh, Cosmos with $1,500, uh, Stellar with $3,100, Galaxy with $6,300, Nebula with $12,700, Cosmic with $25,500, Polaris uh, with $51,000. Yeah, yeah. Let me. Yeah, this is that we, we just have to stop, uh, stop sharing. And then you do it. I don't know how to do it. My, my Zoom room, you know, I stopped everything. So no one can mess with my Zoom room. <laughs> so somebody, wow. here, somebody, look, there are people like that. No problem. You know, no. So can you, let's play, let's play all the time this way together. Go ahead. Don't worry, go for it. Go for it. Thank you. Let those losers do that same thing again. Like, let's do that. No problem. But my little kid, sorry, baby, was a little kid. I'm sorry. Somebody, here we go. Okay. This all right, coming back. Uh, so then there is Cosmic for 25,500. And then Polar is 51,100. And then there is Quantum of 102,000. <laughs> Can we win? Stop sharing, please. Stop sharing, please. That's so funny. Stop sharing. Right. That's it. You know what? Multiverse, that is the maximum and the highest one, uh, that is 204,700. All right. And then moving for forward. Do that. Right, so I think you have to stop uh, the sharing, please. Straight away. Stop sharing, please. Stop sharing. Stop sharing. Stop sharing. <laughs> right, that's it. You know what? Uh, I think you have to pass that off. Funny, this is the room. I mean, is anybody can stop the whiteboard? Uh, is there any way we can stop the whiteboard? Um, this one, this oh, my goodness. Five you will have a chance to make 2% return. Can I do something? That's making me so happy. Listen, that's a lot of people in the you know internet. You've got Mario, the type of driver. Making some business in there. Seal, who's meant to be, um, I know Seal, he's the guy that was uh, in the port uh, having a meeting with Kobe and Emmy. And he's an expert, and he doesn't have anything to do with um, any multi-level marketing scam. There he is in the meeting. Together, I promise that. And I'm going to uh, make sure that everything runs all right in that. And, uh, you know, it's, it's already so late. We have held you all. Uh, and thank you so much for being so patient and uh, you know staying with us. We were just doing hoppings from one room to another. And uh, well, it's 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 all about uh, you know uh, the the. Uh, thank you so much, everyone. I mean, just to give you all. Uh, mm -hmm.
Trust me, Sam will come tomorrow and he will drop a big massive bomb and you will love it. Mm -hmm. Right? He wasn't really in a mood today because all this was uh, up. We will set up something tomorrow. We have tomorrow. We are going to add something big daddy. Yes, come with a big smile face. No people can come and do Sam, I love you. Go behind you. They can't do that. We will add in something like that for sure. Everyone, just be happy. Just be, well, yeah. we, we are not here to give you, I'm not here to mislead you. And you follow these steps. Go to the know what you will see what you want. So, I'm happy. You also my brother. Let's see tomorrow. Everyone I'm just doing some I mean, research I mean, that, that they pumped out over the last um, a wee while, and I was just looking at the very first meeting they did in Stable, uh, and I'm just showing you bits and pieces of Shavas, who's been obviously busy promoting um, Stable Opinion. Hi, Shavas. How are you doing? Yeah. You missed me? I missed you a lot. Yeah, okay. So I'm here again. I'm still alive and well. You look, you're looking great. Thank you. You're looking great too. Where are you? I mean, only seven things now. Right. You know, I'm really excited. Where, uh, you know, wanting to make sure that these stable coins get rolled out as well, and um, it's just going to be a game changer because we're bringing these developing countries into a digital economy that they previously don't have access to. Um, so, so it's all about solving the problem uh, by making sure that uh, the channels uh, of transactions are open. Whatever. Oh, that sorry, 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 to, sorry to butt in for, for a second. I have to go in about a minute. Um, but are we are we um, putting forward Michael Shriver as the guy behind um, Bitcoin? Because that might be right, by the way. Well, uh, again, according to my article, Michael Shriver as the guy behind. Um, seen that before. So this is actually um, Satoshi is a T. Oh, I'll do it somewhere else. Um, what have we got? S A T Tososhi I D X dot com. Uh, look at that spelt right. So let's have a look. See, that's still going. Have I spelt that right? Satoshi DX. Have you ever heard of that before? Oh, and it just goes stable opinion, vend. Doesn't know where that turned up. And then we're back to stable day. Oh, well, um, so what's this? This was one of the information which will be with time. Yeah, I don't think I want to show you anything really exciting here, but I know that you guys have seen this stuff before. I have as, as well, but I've never really sat here and just gone through it. And I mean, but come on, guys. I mean, if you look at this, you can see, you know, here they are making claims that they're associated with Citibank. They got contacted. Opinions. We've got nothing to do with this crowd. The opinions that we are forming out of the big sample size data that we are collecting with the help of surveys. He's just a dirty, disgusting scam of the show. Every week. He? The third one you refer to. Oh, the third one. And then I will. Yeah. Probably what I am interested in, though, is anyone that's got any good videos that they think I should, you know, plaster around would be great. These are videos. These are lives. We've got the revitalization um we've got whatever that is a boardroom of shavas we're in a terrible t-shirt and 11 months ago we've got president that's where they started ralph and those two guys again these board meetings that they were doing every week stable deo a year ago, a year ago, you know, it's just all the same shit, different day, isn't it? Demonstration. But, you know, is Chavez someone that you would listen to? Would you, can you not see that he's working for Why an organization? That is just scamming people. You know, are you really believing that this guy is the genuine deal? Or is he being rampant promoting other things? 
along the way. Who knows? All right, something I like to do every day, to change the topic a little bit, is the first thing is I always like to look to see where the money's gone. So we did track $7.2 million that got lifted off the We Are All Satoshi wallets. And if you looked at that wallet at the moment, it has one cent. And if you go down here, you can see $7.2 million was lifted off this platform and off to Binance. And you can see them slowly piling the money up and then taking it all out in one hit. All right. So if you went to track where that money come from, it's a pretty mean job. So we're going to have a look at Boom Fund, the Boom Fund controller wallet. This has $3 in it. Now, this wallet, I'm just going to go through all my links and you can sit here and go, ooh, look at that. So this is a, one of the, I think I call it, it hasn't even been labeled, but this is meant to be called, am I logged in? It's not labeled because I haven't logged in. So let's log in to my Tron scan and these will be all labeled. Gotta get rid of that space, Danny. Log in. Okay, let's save. Do they say save or update? All right, so this is the boom fund. So if you can you can see these are all connected wallets. So if you went to the out monies, you can see large amounts of money being transferred around, like two hundred thousand, hundred and forty-three thousand, and the like. But let's go to the in wallet. And the end wallet is nothing. Routing. But you can see we've been mapping all these different wallets to where the money goes and then finding out the owners. So stable coin. Where is that? I don't understand it. Not going to bore you guys with that. Um, I think you're already bored anyway, aren't we? Sorry about that. Boomerang test wallet. Okay, so the main liquidity wallet, this is the one that often, so this is this has got $5 million in it at the moment, which they don't normally keep that much money in it. But if you come down here, you can actually see just three minutes ago, someone has bought a $500 license, thinking that, I don't know what they're thinking, but theoretically they have invested in a boomerang license. So in the last eight minutes, $1,500 has been scammed. Nine minutes, two thousand dollars. You know, so these people are purchasing their license. So the figures where you see fifty-one dollars is where they've actually gone to We Are All Satoshi and signed up for a membership. Got a free miner that you can buy for nine dollars somewhere else now, and um, and then they've purchased. So what we were seeing at one stage is in here within a twenty-four hour period, we we're watching over two hundred thousand dollars people investing in this platform. Sharvis reckons they've got sixty thousand people have signed up for pl uh, platforms which is 30 million dollars so we're not talking small change here but if you look at the in and then more importantly if you go to the out you can see the money has been lifted off the platform five thousand sixteen thousand so in the last uh let's go back two days day day the last 23 hours see this is where they're hurting like a bitch at the moment so let's add this up for shits and giggles so that's uh 24 Actually, I like that is I'm not good at this. Well, oh, got a calculator. Let's just do it real quick. I'm sorry. I got five thousand dollars. I should be able to do this. Sixty. Oh, actually, why don't I just go sixteen thousand dollars times one, two, three, four, five, plus eight thousand dollars plus five thousand dollars. Okay. Oh my goodness, is that right? It is. $93,000 has been lifted off this platform. Oh, that's not selling, but this is actually how much money they're taking out each day. So they're feeding some monster, but this money's all coming from We Are All Satoshi and also Boomerang. And we've actually tracked money that's come from Diverse or been transferred into this wallet before. Don't ask where to find it, but people who are signing up for We Are All Satoshi are thinking, oh, this is really cool. Um, hey, Josh, nice to have you here. Um, so people who sign up for this thing that's really cool, uh, this is the bridge where you can get your money out of We Are All Satoshi. It's been broken. I uh, wonder how long it's been broken for. So you go to transactions, and in here you'll see that no money has left the platform for 110 days. So even though you might have what you think is money in We Are All Satoshi, you can't get it off the platform, which is just um, just disgusting. Okay, other bookmarks I've kept that might be of interest to you. Routing, so just some random 
pages that I thought I'd better. Um, this is a routing wallet. And this is where, well, I think it's routing because they transfer money from one wallet to the other continuously. So they're trying to hide the trail, I presume. Uh, so if you go to the out, we're just talking small amounts of money, so that's not really interesting. Is that, that's not 6 million, is it? That's 6,000, isn't it? 6,000. I always get them confused. I think it is 6,000. Yeah, so it's not big money, but that's money going out of this wallet that's connected to, but I don't have no idea what this is actually on about. Um, and this doesn't mean anything to me. For some reason, at one point, I thought it would be a good idea to actually bookmark this, but um, I'll try to find something more exciting for you. Uh, router, Boomerang. Oh, let's have a look at some of these other ones. Whoa, that must be... Um, it must be an exchange. That's a little bit too much money for um, anyone to have in their access, isn't it? Yeah, no, nothing too exciting yet. No, it must be an exchange. Don't know what exchange it is, but probably will tell me on the somewhere around. But let's keep going for something more exciting. Okay, so if you have been listening to this stupid arbitrage thing, this is what they're doing to scam people, and it's really quite interesting. But this is a not a typical one, but this is somebody who's used $10 flash loan money and if you go to line four, and line four is less than line three, they actually have lost seven cents to this trade. And then down to the bottom here, you can see that the person that did the trade has actually made $90. So where does that $90 come from? And how did somebody only invest $10 and make $90 profit? That's because all the figures that you see are actually fudged. And they have got mathematical equations on the website. So Rob, I was going to say business partner then, my mate, has shown that these guys have got a website which has now been taken down where you could actually go and put $10 down, pick that exchange, and miraculously, if they're, they've stuffed up their calculations, somebody was getting paid $90 into their MetaMask wallet. Absolutely brilliant. But then sometimes it's quite fun following this, this person and trying to figure out you know, how much money they actually have uh, and if they're still trading. And ironically, 14 days ago, flash loan. So this was 26 days ago, the person that paid $10 and made $90 is still trading. And there's another trade. And some of these traders have figured out that it's a scam and have actually managed to take money out of We Are All Satoshi by using these trades. So now the same guy that put $10 in and got $90 has put, used $153 of flash loan money and this figure here, 133, 43, see that figure is, is, if this one's less than this, then you just distract that and you've lost 70 cents. But he still got paid out $1.70, regardless that the transaction lost money. So we have never seen a transaction that has actually made a money from arbitrage trading. But we always see that they top up the person's MetaMask wallet with a smart contract with a mathematical equation from the website so people think they're making money so they keep reinvesting and then you never get paid much you just get a little bit of flash loan money to play with which is pretty sad really but i have got some interesting stuff if i go down here enough um i've got a, a boomerang router address so there may you may see a lot of money going around it's all about money and it's all about sales they don't care about releasing the platform it's nothing about that so they just want you to keep spending your money. So in here, we have got money going out of this wallet. There's nothing really. 26,000, say it quickly, 26, 18, 18. So this could be a wallet to use just to route money around. I don't know why I saved it at the time, but I was told to, so I did. Is that 88? Boomerang. Hey, somebody messaged me. Oh, my goodness, I hate when that happens. Oh, goodness, Rob just sent me a message. What's happening, Rob? Uh, Rob, he said something interesting. I don't know if I can read it out loud, but let's have a look. Oh, my God, I saw the same ass pop up um, on my feed yesterday. What ass? What happened here? Hold up. Look at something here. Just wait a minute, please. Oh, my God. Oh my God. 
I was just got it in the mouth. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Why are we looking at this, guys? Oh my goodness. Ooh. I should get a carpet. That'll look quite good. Ooh. I think they must have. Really? Ah. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I'm old enough to look at this. Oh, you're not looking. I'm oh, sorry. Have a look at this. This is um, some chiropractor. I have to hit refresh. You have to watch this. I don't know why we're watching this, but have a look at this. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Give you a break. Oh. That's what I've had all these yeah. noises for. Oh, we get more. Oh, right here. And there's oh. the rest of it. Whoa. I actually like going to carpenters. Good. Breathe. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh. oh that's freaky. That's so weird how it does that. <laughs> Oh, yes, that is weird. Um, anyway, so I just thought I'd share that with you for some reason. Um, mm, anyway, what was I doing? I don't know. I got distracted by the lady getting, um, um, getting whatever. <clears throat> right, where were we? We're showing you other stuff. We got distracted. Can't find out where I am now. Okay. Um, anyway, what, what I did really want to show you is, in case you were not distracted by that, <clears throat> um, We've got, I think Rob's just popped in here because I've just had somebody pop in here. Eight people in here, Rob. You're number eight. <clears throat> this is this is interesting. This is the main portfolio. I don't know why it's white, but it is. And this is the boomer. What we call the boomerang. Oh, hold up, guys. I'm gonna log in somehow. How do I log in? I'm logging with that. I don't, I'll just log in with my Metamorph. Ah, uh, because I cleared the cache. <clears throat> Verify address correct. Okay. Skip. Now, hopefully, you're not logged in. Oh, my goodness me. I am logged in. Verify your address. How do I verify my address? I am not a robot. Fair enough. Verified. One minute, please, caller. You can go back and watch this while I'm getting myself logged in, just in case. Bitcoin, because that might be right, by the way. Well, uh, again, according to my article, uh, who is Satoshi does not matter because we are all Satoshi. <laughs> right. Okay, yeah, good answer. <laughs> Sorry, guys, <laughs> yes. I've got to rush. Good answer. Just... See you later. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Thank you. We won't hang on for too long anyways, but um, it's yeah. great to see the product in action. So here we will have our stable tokens around Satoshi in the swap. And here you can see a list. Of uh, so what I'm trying to do in the background, it's bloody boring. Um, I was actually trying to log in to the Boom Trust Confola Fund and show you that it's actually got um, just short of $7,000 in there. And this used to be bleeding every day. And they use this wallet to, to top up the exchanges or the Aave loans. So they have to repay every time they borrow flash loan money. They, that makes a loss. They have to top it up to make the transaction work. So if they keep these wallets and these currencies loaded, then they can do it. So when these were running out and they had no money, then you would find that people that were doing trades would actually start getting errors and people would wonder why they couldn't do the trade. So you see these errors that you are looking at here. These are because these trades would have been trying to do a transaction and they would have let the funds get too low in the main uh, boom for fund controller account, as we've called it. 
So you can see that just 45 hours ago, so 11 hours ago, someone actually managed to do a trade, which is interesting because this platform's been down. So this is probably a test account. So let's have a wee nose in here and let's see. Um, now, they, when they found out that people were ripping off the system because they didn't have a mathematical equation for prices under $10, they actually made it that nobody could do a transaction for less than $10. It's absolutely ridiculous. But anyway, you can see that's why you see this one here for $10 or $12 flash loan money. So once again, you go to transaction four and it's less than transaction three. So that actually means, it doesn't matter how you look at this, they lost, oh boy, I'm going to go to this in my, so that's going to be 84, 17 cents. Have I got that right? close enough and they didn't get any extra fees that's what the zero zero is for but at the bottom there was a 48 uh, cent fee so if you went and added up these numbers here and the 48 cent fee or this number here in Ratmatic and you add up that figure that figure the losses of they had any even that zero 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 point figure and then added up the money they lost that would be exactly the amount of money that you would see paid back so what that's why i actually did need to bring that up so if you went uh actually we'll be able to find this transaction so if we're going to the transactions 11 hours ago there will be a transaction from here what's going on here <laughs> what did we got yeah i need to do this sometimes so yeah, okay so 11 hours ago there should be a smart contract and there it is so you can see that that uh, this is brilliant, actually. So someone has managed to do a trade 11 hours ago with the platform down. So how did that work? So 8 o'clock last night, somebody actually managed to do a trade. So that would be interesting. So this is the trade. And I'm going to try working this out, Danny style. Oh, well, there you go. So if you add up the – just doing it roughly. So you add up – remember, you want to add these fees up to get the – oh, goodness me, sorry – all right, so this is really interesting. So this is the this is a prime example of how they've been fooling the system. So if you go through here and work out the losses between here and here, you got about 17 cents. There was no fees, well, there was, but it didn't add up to a cent, so it didn't turn up as a cent. And then you take the $2.98 profit that they paid out plus the 48 cents fees. So you're following all that? So all the money that they've lost in this whole transaction is paid for out of the boom trust controller and they had to pay three dollars and three cents to make that transaction work and they've also paid out the money to the person i don't even know if i've got that quite right three dollars 33 cents i ain't got that right but rob's worked it out in the past just want to say so if you added up all the losses here Actually, it is right because I've lost 17 cents. So if you put 17 cents, so I'm going to try to work this out myself just roughly. So we go $2.97. And then if you work out the 17 cents, which I think is 17 cents I've lost. So if I'm taking, oh, no, I'm just going to do this. Don't get too excited if I get this wrong. But let's give it a go, Danny. We've got to learn this shit. 94. And then you take away. $10.77 equals. So I've got, that is 17 cents. So if I take 17 cents and I put in $2.98 equals, that is $3.14. How did that work? $3.14 and maybe, where's the 48 cents? Don't know. Help! Lost it. Lost it. Lost the plot there, guys. But what we're getting at here is this transaction that you see in here was used to pay back what's this transaction happened it says 12 hours ago now but then we've got this this whole transaction here was 11 hours ago so if i come here and i go back to the main wallet I'm just a 12 hours see it's 12 hours ago so this transaction that was done 12 hours ago um is the same transactions that they have actually paid someone $3.30. Maybe I should be adding up the figures at the top because if the, if the currency or the exchange changes, 
over in the last 12 hours, that figure will be different. And it, currently it's $3.30. So if there was a dive on this exchange, yes, that figure will change. And so would my calculations, unfortunately. But you can see if you click on that, that's how they've done it. But if this isn't the case, then what has this got to do with anything? Because there's no reason for them to get involved in an arbitrage trade. But they claim... So now what they're working on is trying to hide all these scripts and the like. And that's really about it. Um, what else do I like to look at? Um, was... Now, I did, um, I did find something interesting the other day. And uh, I found a website in the UK that is connected to um, <clears throat> to this website. And how do I know? Well, there was three people uh, involved in it who have been in Dubai. And also the website design was pretty much very similar. It looked like it had been designed by the same companies. And I think I found the money. Yeah. So that's quite exciting. Um, so I'm trying to get the um, men in black blue, black, whatever you want to call them, to get involved, but no one's listening to me. So I think I've found a route where the money's getting fed back to Dubai, but no one wants to listen to me. So if you're in the FBI or IRS or Homeland Security or uh, you're a deputy and you've got more too much time in your hands, reach out to me because I think I've found one of the ways where they're transferring the money back into the real world and I've got all the names and people willing to help and provide that information to anyone that wants it. So I don't know what to do with this information. So in short, I've actually managed to find a company that is doing a test run for money laundering based in the UK. And I've got people in the company who are willing to help us. I've got everything. I've got people who have been connected to Sam Lee on video, the whole nine yards. But I can't get anyone to listen to me. Uh, and it's money laundering, and it's probably people's money. And we're talking millions of dollars, and I can prove it. So I just need somebody to help me. I don't know what to do with the information. So if you're in law enforcement, go to theheck.com. I'm not hard to find. Uh, reach out to me, and I'll tell you what I've got, and um, we could probably get some money back from people who are trying to hide money around the world from these criminal networks. But other than that, we're just going to sit back and watch it happen. Because no one gives a shit. <sighs> Reached out to, um, I rang up my uh, FMA, which is our financial regulator here in New Zealand. And I go, hello. And they go, is that Danny DeHeck? And I go, yes. It's got, we watch your videos. They, they they knew my voice. How crazy is that? But nothing happens. I asked them why they didn't arrest somebody. And they redid it three months later. And I said, if you arrested them the first time, they wouldn't get a chance to do it the third time. I said, you know that guy's a criminal, don't you? They're, oh, yeah. It's a bit hard because legal, legal, I can't even say the government won't let us do what we want to do. And I said, well, I've got him on video. I've got his voice. I've got photos of him doing the conference, promoting the Ponzi scheme. Oh, oh, if we could get that, that'd be really good. And I said, well, I've got criminals right now stealing thousands of dollars from New Zealanders. Do you want that information as well? Oh, yeah, we do. And I go, why don't you guys get on a Zoom meeting and we work together? Oh, yeah. No, and then they send you back a standard email. And they go, that's standard, because Rob got the same standard email. So we know that they just send back these standard emails. And they can't tell us anything, and they can't work with us. But we're the ones at the front of this fight. So that's me. That's me. Uh, Two-hour stream today, not too bad. Probably one of the most boring ones I've done. Um, but, hey, thanks for being here. Really appreciate it. My battery's about going flat on the camera. I don't know if there's anything else I can tell you, except... I'm Danny DeHeck, a.k.a. the Crypto Ponzi Scheme Avenger. Here to name and shame anyone running or promoting a Ponzi scheme or a scam. I don't know why I do it. Last year, I had the enjoyment of one of these scammers trying to sue me in the New Zealand High Court for $3.8 million. Cost me $36,000 to defend myself. But don't worry, the judge came out and he said, you've been a naughty boy to the other guy. You've got to pay Danny's legal fees. But don't you worry, Mr. Scammer. We think Danny spent too much time defending himself. So the court's deemed that he had to pay $27,500 of my legal fees, left me with a deficit of about $8,500 to pay. So I'm paying that back to Legal Aid, which is our people that help me because I don't have any money, at $15 a week. And the scammer goes off and starts up another scam. It's an unjust world, and that's why I'm a bit of a vigilante. <laughs> yep, and I'm really out there as an activist trying to get these messages out there. 
And Susie says, I'm awesome. Thank you, because that's why I do it. It's my community, the Avengers. I went to the uh, Avenger WhatsApp chat room today, and there was 120 messages, and there's lots and lots of information. Hey, I, it's Friday here in New Zealand. It is 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, thank goodness that the times have changed. I can get up and do these meetings. I'm going to do another meeting in three hours' time, so be sure to be here, and I'll try to get myself back in the Zoom meeting, and hopefully I won't click the wrong button and get kicked out. My I kicked myself out of the Zoom meeting today. Hey, you have an awesome day. Thank you for listening. Love you guys, and we'll see you in the next, um, what do they call it, uh, in the next uh, live. And I'm going to go before my battery dry, dries. Uh, do like and subscribe, and if you can support me in any which way form, really much appreciated. And uh, let's be, uh, how do the whole street blues say? Uh, let's be careful out there. Let's be careful out there. <clears throat> it won't end. It looks like logged out. I can't I can't end my stream. It says it looks like I logged out. I'm gonna try refreshing, see what happens. One minute, please, caller. I'm back. <laughs> this is going to set myself up. Now, what I had to do, because I got kicked out of the Zoom meeting, this is hard running these Zoom things, especially when you're a 50-something-year-old man. Um, because I cleared my cache, even though I just said clear the caches for the last hour, it's just deleted everything. So I couldn't even shut down the meeting. Isn't that crazy? So now I've got a green screen. I'm just going to spend this time. You can sit here with me if you like. Virtual background. I have a green screen. That looks better. Um, got the right fade on. I've got the camera on. I've got the sound on. I've got the right camera. General settings. Uh, right. Right. So that's it. So there we go. So um, long story short there, kids. What happened is I cleared my cookies. And that means I logged out of um, the actual real connection with my StreamYard, which is what I used to broadcast which means I had to refresh the browser, re-log in, set up my cameras again, get my mic going, and you sat there patiently in the waiting room waiting for me to come back to close the meeting off. So now I'm going to say what I just said before. Uh, remember Hill Street Blues? Hey, just before we go, <laughs> I've got an idea. Let's find it. Hill Street Blues. Uh, Hill, Hill Street, uh, Street Blues. Um, Hill Street Blues. Uh, let's be careful out there. There we go. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, this would be funny. Well, I hope it's funny. Okay, let's go share the screen. Well, my battery is going to last on my camera. Share screen. Hill Street Blues. Now, this is this is. I don't know. It must be the era I was in. But I used to watch this when I was a kid. Thirteen years ago. Here we go. Let's have a listen. It's eight seconds long. That's it. Let's roll. Hey. Let's be careful out there. There you go, kids. So let's be careful out there. Hold it. Let's do this proper. Let's roll. And let's be, no, let's go. And let's be careful out there. Hold it. 